people it's me it's Ann I'm back this is my second video with the palette of the week the bad habit aura and I had a request from my so-called life Miss Nona wants to see me do something with the yellowy green now the thing is the yellowy green is actually the yellow that I used the other day on the sunset but I'm going to put it with the green over here and with this green that looks way more green so let's see if I can get this to work how is everybody today got my AOA studio white primer la 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 Smear that around, grab a finger. Yes, I have plenty of, br of brushes. I have plenty of sponges. My finger's right here. Just right there under the lash. wipe other side do 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 la 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 I really really like this formula and it's a buck which is even better I especially like the formula if I want things to show up brightly because it is so white that it really puts down a very nice clean baseline so you don't really see the skin tone underneath you just see basically a clean white canvas to work on and the white <clears throat> now with some of the shades that I'm doing especially if I'm trying to do a more romantic kind of thing a little more subtle I'll use the other um, beige color type primers for my eyes or just a little foundation I mean that's really all you need just something to help the first layers stick but if i'm trying to do something bright i go with the white all right pick up the first brush and let's get hooting put this back up the mirror that I got recently, which is up on a stand, <clears throat> excuse me, it's got one side is a regular mirror, the other side is a um, magnifying mirror. Because of where it sits, my ring light with the camera, which is right up here, is hitting the back of that magnifying mirror and bouncing back to the camera so I put a a cloth over the back of it to kind of reduce that extra bounce okay see it's the yellow yellow the other thing I'm going to show you is what happens to my eye color when I use greens it's magic Let's see up here on its own all by itself it looks a little yellow it looks a little green it's kind of hard to tell when I put it with the reds 
that I used the first time and layered it over those oranges and reds, the green tone mostly just dropped out and the yellow shone up a lot more and blended with those red tones we got all of those gradations of yellows and oranges that made it look like a sunset now i'm going to have to be careful when i use the dark green it's not only a shimmer but it is dark green so i'm going to have to be real careful how much i put on at a time otherwise it will take over the other thing i'm going to be doing is there's a very pale shadow in the top left corner that's called phenomenon when you're looking at it in the pan, it looks kind of creamy white. But once you start working with it, it's got a pale gold, pale goldish green reflect. And it's gorgeous. And this is one of the things that I really like about some of these quote-unquote not big designer name brand palettes is they still, they work. They work. I mean, I'm not having to pack and work and fight to get this color on my eye. Now, granted, I understand that big name palettes, you can sometimes get some that will practically not only do your makeup for you, but walk your dog while it's at it. But I'm doing all of this on a disability budget. I don't go after the big name stuff unless it comes in like my Ipsy bag, which is 10 bucks. Yes, I'm cheap. Hi, if you're new here, I'm on a tight budget. I'm cheap. Now, this dark green is called Ecstasy. I love this dark green, but like I said, I've got to be very judicious with this dark green. Yes, my concentration phase. Now, I barely tapped this brush into the pan. That's a lot of color. I'm going to start working it out from here and I'm going to build it up very carefully, slowly as it were. But if you see already where that deep green is meeting up with the yellowy green, the yellowy green is starting to pick up more of a green cast. Yes, I'm doing this already. I, I don't do my makeup the way anybody else does. I just never do. I don't always do my makeup the way I do every time. <clears throat> I'm a little weird. 
Anyway, I've got my foundation and our first layer of powder on. The foundation is the Rimmel 25 Hour that I've been using a lot lately because I love it. I love it. I really do. I've got my skin moisturized. I've got the SPF on. And I told you I was going to start working with this, which is the antiperspirant that can be used on your face or your hands, or your feet, or wherever that you just get way soggy. My face sweats like I've run a marathon, and all I have to do is walk from here to the kitchen. Having fibro messes with your ability to control your own temperature. And you sometimes, depending on what happens with you with fibro, if you have it, it could be that you sweat like crazy and the sweat runs down your face for doing nothing but getting out of the shower and going to your room to put clothes on, or just getting up will set it off. And for some people, it doesn't. Lucky budgers. And it's like I have this corner of this eye, waters almost constantly, same problem. No, I don't put this in my eye. That's just a watering eye. It's not sweat. However, this stuff has been making the most wonderful primer this entire week. And I'm falling in love. I really am. You don't need a lot. You just rub it into your skin pretty good and then let it set for a while. And then I put my foundation over it. I love it. It's working. Which for me is a miracle. Thank you, Angie from 4F Beauty, for telling me about it on her channel. If you don't know Angie from 4F Beauty, you need to. She's incredible. <clears throat> okay. That's about as far as I'm going to go with this dark green. Because otherwise, it will take over the whole eye. Another couple of taps. And... Concentration face again. Start working on this side. Like I said, it doesn't take more than a tap or two to start getting tons of payoff from this particular color. And then I'm just, yes, I have to get closer to the mirror because I'm looking at it with this eye, and this eye is in worse condition than this eye. It's one of the reasons that if I come on with one side already done, It's usually this side that's already done because you don't have to sit and watch me fiddle with it. Because I have to fiddle with it longer and I have to sit with my nose almost on the mirror most of the time to see what I'm doing. I also have a little problem sometimes trying to get the same relative shape because I really can't see it very well. And the same relative depth of color can be a tricky point too.
Now, I'm not taking this dark over very far. I'm not going all the way across with it. All right. I think that's about even, I think. Yes, it's the best and the easiest when I can open both eyes to look at what I'm doing, which is usually the upper lid stuff. But I can't always do that. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Floofy brush. Kind of start just working that a little. Trying to integrate that a little better between the two colors. There. Not too bad. Snatch up that first brush again. And tap just a little bit of that green right back in here. Well, the yellow green. Ta-dum! Ta-dum, ta-dum. Ta -da -da now, the last color I'm going to use is that pale, kind of, it's, it's kind of an interesting shade. It's hard to explain. It's this one right here. In there, it looks just bright white. Here, it looks kind of silvery, sort of, <clears throat> until you start picking it up on your brush. That's when you start seeing the, the kind of gold and green reflect in it. And I know from prior experience, this one works best with a spritz. Yes, this is the other concentration face. Now, I'm just barely getting into that green in the crease or if you want to call it the crease. Since my eyes are very hooded, I have to kind of build a crease where I need it. Now, I don't know if the camera is showing this or not well enough for you to tell, but if you look, if you can see, it's got a green gold reflect to it as I pull it across and it starts to foil. There's my concentration face again. Now, I'm not going to take this up any higher on the eyelid into that yellow green because hooded eyes are going to transfer that shimmer anyway, and it will transfer it wherever it wants. So, I'm not going to give it any extra help. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see if I can manage to do the other eye without making a foobar. Concentration face in place.
I'll drag a little bit across that dark green right at the edge. Right there. And no, I haven't done my eyebrows yet. In case anybody is wondering, since I've been using the Rimmel Eyebrow and Eyelash Serum, well, technically it's Eyelash Serum, but it works on your brows too. That's why I have eyebrows now. <clears throat> I've got some pictures from when I first started using the Rimmel eyelash serum and when I first started doing Instagram pictures just before I started the YouTube channel if you saw the pictures and I think they're still on my Instagram in the histories from about here over on both sides we're naked and I now have fur <laughs> Not a lot, but fur on my face where it's supposed to be, as opposed to my hereditary mustache. Yes, my mom had a mustache. I have a mustache. My baby sister had a mustache. My dad was always clean shaped. I don't know what that was. There are some people that tell me that it means I probably had to deal with cystic ovaries, but I don't know. Nobody's ever said so. Other than having a pain that somebody said, you probably had an ovary cyst burst. Nobody's ever said otherwise. But apparently, being of a size, is conducive to acquiring them because your body is not in the best condition. And you're on your like fat, the brown fat cells contains extra estrogen, so yeah, it's like just there you go. Anyway, I'm going to slide up off of here and do the eyeliner so you don't have to watch the shaky eyes and do the mascara so you don't have to watch the shaky eyes and the shaky hands doing all that stuff and i will try i will try to remember this time to save the highlighter and the lippy for all of you lovely people i am so sorry i screwed up the last time I will try to be good this time. I just get so excited. Anyway, I will be right back. Alrighty, I did it. I think I managed to remember to leave the things I was supposed to leave. There we go with that watering eye. Joy. Anyway, just a little mascara. And some fairly messy lines. Yeah, not only was the hand shaking, but this eyelid decided it needed to join the party. Anyway. Got my bronzer and my blusher and my eyebrows. And this is another piece that I got from... Um, the shop hush big sale dome face candy unicorn glow highlight collection 
and I bet you can tell which one I'm going after with the green right here. Yeah. <laughs> I figure if I'm going to be green, I'm going to be green. Oh, look. The light just got a little weird because we just got a cloud over the sun and I had some pretty good light coming through the bedroom windows and now not so much. Anyway. Glow. Time to glow. A little here. Make sure it's burnished in well there. Because literally, when you're looking forward, you really so, shouldn't see except where you've got anything that's on the forward plane of your face. But when you turn, you should see that glow. Now I'll do this side. Take a little tiny bit, run it down my schnoz. Yeah, I don't want to go, go too ham with the green on the nose. I don't want it to look like I've got green cooties on my nose. I can have a little green cootie on the lip. That's okay. This will get kicked up with the uh, lipstick anyway. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to take a finer brush. See, I got these little tiny brushes for a reason. And having these little tiny pointy brushes are very handy. Use that same green highlighter and get right here into the corner. Come on, pick up. You picked up great on the other brush. There we go. That's better. Now, while I was off camera, I took some of that inner corner color and ran under the inner corner of the lower lid. I've got the darker color on the outer corner of the lower lid so that they kind of match up. And now I'm putting this green glowy highlight into the deep corner. Drag a little light in there. There. Looks pretty good. Same thing right here. Right up here on the brow bone. Because I want that green. as close as possible to as many spots as possible as the yellow green here because that's going to influence the green pickup in this color and if I'm going to go to all the trouble of trying to show that if you've got a duo color like that where it's a yellow green or green and yellow whatever however you want to look at it if you're putting a green next to it it's going to pick up 
green more than yellow. If you put yellows or reds and oranges next to it, it's going to pick up the yellow instead of the green. So it it's a ver makes it much more versatile that way. All right, lipstick. Elf, touch of nude. No, I don't have any green lipstick. Okay, the one time I wore green lips for St. Patrick's Day, it was actually Revlon um, liquid eyeshadow. The stuff that's got the, the opaque at one end and the glitter at the other. It's the only way it actually worked on me because if I try to use it on my eyes, it just peels off. Okay, now, just to be doing, it won't last long, the color will get mixed in and all that, but it looks kind of neat when you first do it. I've got the AOA Studio Mermaid Diamond Gloss, and it's in a bluey green. So you just kind of pat it on. But as soon as you start doing stuff, the gloss is going to get mixed into the nude. And you won't have that rather amazing green shimmer that's there for a few seconds. I took saw a green eye pencil and did the lower water line. Now this one is called Lime. I originally tried to use one that's called, this is the one I tried first, but it's so pale it didn't show up. So then I used dark green. It's still pretty pale. See, you can see the glimmer. Glimmer. Anyway. That's the green being green. Now, have a close look at my eyes. My baby sister had green eyes. And if I put a lot of green next to my blue eyes, they get very green and a little less blue, which it's magic. It's also color theory, but it's magic. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up if you're feeling generous. If you didn't like what you saw, please tell me why. Don't just say icky poo-ish. Tell me why. Give me suggestions. I appreciate the fact that Nona from my so-called life gave me the suggestion to do this yellow-green thing. It worked out beautifully, at least in my opinion. So, if you like it, let me know. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome to the fun house. I hope you hang around for a while. Click the subscribe and the notification bell so that you know when I do this again. I don't have a set schedule. I usually try to upload at least once a week with a chronic illness it's kind of hard to always guarantee just remember I'm on a budget I don't have bail money 
be good.